Yesterday saw the sad but not unexpected news that Queen Elizabeth II has passed away. And as Great Britain enters a 10-day period of mourning, markets have continued doing what they always do. The dollar index fell sharply overnight as Chinese CPI data came in well below expectations. And that came after the ECB raised rates by 75 basis points. And that's given a bounce to Asian and European equities with the US futures pointing higher too. And that in turn has breathed some life into crypto with Bitcoin back above a key level of support and eyeing its 50-day moving average. Ethereum occupies investors' focus though, as the countdown to the merger starts to intensify. This morning, the L1 coin cantered past its 50-day moving average resistance and is testing the first of two key significant levels. The merger, if successful, is expected to reduce energy use on the network by 99%, potentially unlocking capital that sat on the sidelines waiting to enter the market. And the question of the flippening is starting to rear its head again, although that would take some doing and require a meteoric rally to achieve. Still, stranger things have happened.